family system is disrupted until you get everybody working well again. So let's review what I've said. We started with the multi-creatured cells. We went on to multi-celled creatures. And now I think what we're doing in the world is trying to form a new kind of multi-creatured superorganism for humanity, a kind of global body of humanity. So globalization to me then is a perfectly natural evolutionary process. I will not give that word up to bad economics. Look at all the global cooperation already happening. We have a lot of it in the arts. We have a lot of it in travel. We can move anywhere in the, on the globe. The communications went from telephones, one-to-one uh, -one conversations, to broadcast media, which is one-to-many conversations, to the Internet, which is now a many-to-many -many conversation, very vital to forming humanity as a single living system, a body of humanity. We can exchange money all over the globe. Our visa cards work anywhere. And visa cards were initially designed not to let anybody gain a monopoly within the system. Space exploration, we now have international space stations. In spirituality, we have more and more world parliaments of religion and united religions initiatives and things. The United Nations is our first cut at, at a kind of global governance. The NGOs are, are a big spin-off from the, from the UN. Science is more and more cooperating in the world. So we have all these examples that show us that we're perfectly capable of becoming a globalized cooperative species. It's just that our economics are still out of whack. Because what we need is this kind of a holarchy in which we can have negotiations of self-interest from every level in the system. And, and I call that glocalization, to recognize that you can't have a healthy world trade organization if it doesn't promote healthy local economies. If they cannot speak for their interests into this system, it will never become a healthy system. If you try to dictate from the top down what every country will export and import and, and how it will function, it won't work because that often doesn't work well for the local economy. And every demonstration against the World Trade Organization is a biological sign of life from these other levels trying to say, no, wait, this doesn't work for us. Please hear us and let us negotiate within the system. It has to work that way. Your body won't work if the cells can't speak for their self-interest. So the Dar Darwin was a wonderful pioneer to give us this concept of evolution. But what, where would physics be if they were still going on over 100 years old theories? Right? You've got to evolve in science. We need a new story of evolution. And it has to be one that inspires us to learn from nature's experience a story of nature as fundamentally conscious, as a whole earth phenomenon, as an intelligent dialogue among its parts, species, aspects, a learning organization that can profit from its mistakes, and as an abund abundant and balanced system that's resourceful when there's crisis, and therefore, seeing it as a maturation cycle is very useful. That's quite a different story of evolution.